Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. So today we're going to talk about Buck Angel. Buck Angel is a female to male trans man and an adult film star. Now, I actually know Buck, not really know Buck, but I actually know him from the adult entertainment industry. When you're in the adult entertainment industry, you end up meeting a lot of porn stars, even ones that aren't in your niche. If everyone's ready for the big unveiling? Let's shrink myself. Woo! I drank the potion from Alice in Wonderland that shrunk me. Why is Ariel Scassella's fucking melon head blocking him? So let's just minimize her ugly cunt face for a little bit. <laughs> so this is Buck Angel. And you know what? He looks pretty good. Yeah. For a trans man, he looks fucking amazing. His transition went off without a fucking hitch. By the way... Don't try googling Buck Angel, because if you do, you're just gonna get man pussy, like, shoved in your face from every end. You have to type in Buck Angel with clothes, and even then, you'll only get a couple pictures of him wearing clothes. I've actually met Buck at an adult convention before. We talked a little bit, and we've even conversed a little bit on Twitter. We followed one another on there. It was great for a while. People have always said that Buck Angel is a nice guy, and I happened to agree with them at the time. A huge supporter of trans rights and advocate for sex work, he seemed pretty fucking chill. So one day, I was on my Facebook when all of a sudden, I ran across a bunch of people talking shit about Buck Angel. I didn't understand why everyone was giving Buck Angel shit, and when I asked people why they were giving Buck Angel shit, shit, no one would give me a straight answer. So I brushed it off, but then something happened. His brain broke. Trans women retain significant physical advantages over biological women even after they take medication to lower their testosterone. That's not what the article says. That's what Buck Angel says. The article says trans women face potential women's rugby ban over safety concerns. So what's in this article does not substantiate Buck Angel's claim. So Buck Angel is being transphobic as fuck here. Listen, I hate TERFs. They're anti-intellectual. They're liars. They're hateful. Even when presented with scientific data, they're just like, la 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 la. I can't hear you. You're a man. La 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 la. You're a predator. La 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 la. And they continue being unintelligent liars. But believe it or not, there's something worse than a turf, and that's a trans turf. Henceforth, trans traitors will be called Uncle Bucks. I declare. Hear ye, hear ye! Uncle Bucks are traitors to the trans community, even though they're trans themselves. This is usually often spurred on by conservative money, mental decline, or in most cases, both. There are only two trans turfs that I can think of off the top of my head. One is that turncoat cunt Blair White, and the other is Uncle Buck Angel himself. Now, there's plenty of scientific data that swats this bullshit down, so I sent him some after reading his dumb fuck tweet. So, here's what I responded with. Scientific data and analysis disagrees with you. Would you like the link? Here it is! I provided my own data. Give me two shakes of a lamb's dick. We're gonna look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Whoa! You've gotta look it up now, look it up! Trans people in sports. Meta-analysis covering prior research on trans individuals' performance in sports and pre-existing sports policies concerning trans people. Findings show there is no consistent or direct research indicating trans women have an unfair athletic advantage at any stage of their transition. Additional findings show most sports policies are not evidence-based, and trans individuals experience substantial discrimination from sports institutions. Let's go on this article. That was just the summary. To the author's knowledge, there has been no systematic review of the literature pertaining to sport participation or competitive sport policies in transgender people. Therefore, this review aimed to address this gap in the literature. They're going to answer the question. Eight research articles and 31 sports policies were reviewed. In relation to sports-related physical activity, 
This review found the lack of inclusive and comfortable environments to be the primary barrier to participation for transgender people. This review also found transgender people had a mostly negative experience in competitive sports because of the restrictions the sports policies placed on them. The majority of transgender competitive sports policies that were reviewed were not evidence-based. Conclusion Currently, there is no direct or consistent research suggesting trans female individuals or male individuals have an athletic advantage at any stage of their transition, cross-sex hormones, gender-confirming surgery, etc., etc., and therefore competitive sport policies that place restrictions on transgender people need to be considered and potentially revised. Fun fact, most trans athletes lose to cis women competitors. So where's the advantage if trans women are losing so often to cis women? What fucking advantage? They're not winning! Maybe a couple of them? But for the most part, trans women lose the majority of the fucking time! So why are people saying, oh, if you just put trans women in sports, they'll dominate? Because they're not fucking dominating, so it's a brain-dead take! I don't understand! Why would they fucking think that?! Do your fucking research! I encourage everyone to go to this website up here and actually read this for yourself. If you want to know what specific policies they researched, they're all fucking here. You can't have an excuse! There's no fucking excuse! So I sent Buck Angel this entire article, and he wasn't too happy about it because it basically shut down his transphobic fucking host. First off, I can send you info as well. It all is where you get it from. Second, never tell me what to do. Third, I do a shit ton of work for the trans community. No one is shitting on anyone except you and your victimy shit. I don't know how I was being a fucking victim, but okay. I will report you for transphobia. <laughs> when I said his brain fucking broke. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to think that someone who's trans and claims to be a trans advocate would post something so transphobic and then respond with this is so disappointing. Tisk tisk, fuck angel! I responded to him after that. I'd love to see how you would report me for transphobia when I literally and blatantly just defended trans women. Your brain must roll around in your head like a tic-tac in a whale's mouth. When did you fall from grace? And it's true. He wasn't always a fucking nutjob transphobe. He used to be a cool guy. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. I sent him an additional tweet in addition to my last tweet revealing how ineptly thought out your take on male to female trans women in sports was. I forgot to mention most male to females lose to their cis female competitors. Where was that unfair advantage? Try not to be a dick, Buck. The same shit I just told you. To which he responded with, BLOCKED! You are insane! Leave me alone, you weirdo troll! It's a shame you are in the porn industry. What a victim! Keep in mind when he says this, he's also in the porn industry. Which would make him also a victim. <laughs> He's like Fester from Adam's Family. He took a fork and a spoon, and he stuck one in an electrical outlet and the other in a plugged-in toaster. <laughs> and it fried his fucking brain! <laughs> See, he's struggling to argue with me here because he has no points. So he's taking a play from the conservative strategy guide by Prima and starts pivoting like a motherfucker. So he claimed he had counter data against my data, which obviously he fucking didn't. But I guess his counter data was a block, because that's exactly what he fucking did to me. <laughs> oh, I heard his brutal feelings with facts and logic. Boo hoo! <laughs> I can provide counter data to that! Oh really? Well then provide it! Block! <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking grifter! 
he's no longer pro-sex work if he's calling me a victim for being in porn like him, and he's no longer pro-trans for posting anti-trans woman garbage. That's two strikes, bucko! You're fucking out! You don't need a third one in the trans community. Traders only get two, and you fucking wasted them. <sighs> Gone. You fucked up, Buck. What a fucking baby. Wah! Wah! You proved me wrong! Wah! You have data that counteracts what I said! Now I look stupid! Wah! It even says Boomer on his fucking profile. How cringe is that? Oh my god. Fucking really. Might as well just put asshole in parentheses, you fucking idiot. <laughs> look at that. Boomer. <laughs> Well, okay, Boomer, you're a piece of shit. And of course, like any piece of shit turf, he stands behind his statement. Even though I was blocked, people have checked. He didn't delete that post. He still has it up because he really believes that's true, despite Data counteracting that bullshit claim. I'm good at three things, people. Sex, video games, and triggering turfs. And I nailed the last one fucking here. If I ever wanted to commit suicide, which I don't, I'd do it by climbing all the way to the top of Buck Angel's ego and jumping off until I hit his IQ. 